I got something, and it's big. It's big, it's big, it's big. Oh my god, it's big. What is going on guys, Winnie City Bass here. Hey T, we're out, ice fishing again. Same lake I've been fishing all winter. If you guys watch my videos, I'm sure you guys watched John B and Chris. I think just last weekend they posted a video fishing right here. In fact, right about here is where John B fell through. We're one week later and this ice, this ice is solid and clear, clear black ice. This is. This is good stuff. Problem is, it's windy and it's cold and I'm underdressed. So I got some minnows for the first time this winter. We're gonna be throwing some live bait out and some tip ups. We're gonna be jigging. Follow me, let's go drill some holes and see what we can catch today. This is the spot I've caught the most bass this winter. We got a little Swedish pimple. I'm gonna tip this with a wax foam and drop it down. I got spikes too today, we'll see how those go. I mean, if you guys are wondering why I picked this spot, well, I just happen to know that there is a grass line here with grass that is actually still alive, still green and healthy. And I um, think some of these fish might be near here. I'll tell you what, it's a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be dead sticking it right now there's a fish underneath it it's coming up it's coming up he's on it I got something little bluegill little bluegill it's cool I can see him through the ice he's pretty aggressive at it not a bad little fish to start the day oh come on bud there you go <laughs> you could use him as bait this is gonna be one of my tip-up holes because I know that there are bass here this is really cool. This is the clearest water I've ever, or the clearest ice I've had. Oh, there's, oh no. Let's see. This is way windier than I thought it would be. Whew, okay. Now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drill some more holes. Whoa, that was sketchy. I'm gonna rig up our tip up here. Oh, of course, I just stuck the hook right through the net. That's, that was smart of me. Let's loosen this up. Sorry bud, you're the first victim. I'm gonna rig mine in the back, beneath the spine so they can still move. Now let's get him in the water. Grab my sonar here so I can tell how deep we're at. I see some activity down there. Okay, tip up is rigged. Let's get another waxworm on here. Man, it's way colder than I thought it was gonna be today. I saw like 35 degrees and I thought, man, that's that's beautiful. Problem is, oh shit, that flag just came up, but I don't think there's a fish. Holy crud. Okay, now let's go back. Man, I might have to turn the other direction. Actually, I think this is one of John's holes right here. All right, we're gonna throw on a jacket. Well, I think we might need to drill some more holes. Right away when I drilled, I had tons of stuff going on down there and now there's just nothing. I mean, it is dead. Let's go drill some more holes. Big crack just happened. Huge crack. Now we've got five inches. That crack went from the shore, straight down that way, all the way that way. It's always a little scary. I hope you're gonna mark fast. Oh no, I missed him. Come on, come on back. Oh, shnikes. 
robbed me of my bait. Man, today is going to be a tough one. I think we're going to have to grind it out. Might not make for a very good video, but this is how some days go. You don't go out and just slay the bass. Oh my god, what is with these fish's mouths? Are they just like rock hard or something? There we go. I got him this time. Ooh, it's a good gill. That is a good gill. Heck yeah, that's a decent one. There's some more marks too down there. That's a good one. I'll take those all day. My nose just will not stop running. It's a good thing that I don't have someone filming me. Man, all you'd see is just snot all over the place. It's not a pretty picture. Well, I'll tell you what, having your back to the wind makes a world of difference here. Once again, I catch one fish and just like everything disappears. I got something. What are you? Oh, another big bluegill. These are some of the biggest bluegill I've caught in this lake. Oh, I got a mark coming up from the bottom fast. Whatever this is, it's bigger. Holy cow. Big bluegill. Holy moly. This may be one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. Look at that. Oh, you can't see because my hoodie string is in the way. This is a, t a giant bluegill. I don't catch bluegill like this. Man, I'll, I'll catch those all day. And it's cool with the ice being so clear, you can see them coming up. And that fish flew up from 11 feet down and he flew up to about six feet. That's how you know he wanted it. Wow, it is so windy. Today would actually be a pretty nice day if the wind wasn't here. This is craziness. Let all the bluegill clear out. Is there a big old bass in the area? Oh, we got some action up way up top here. There's a fish right here near the surface. Got him. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. No! No! Oh no, it came off. Oh my god, I saw it through the ice. Oh, that was a big bass. I swear, my luck with big bass is just so poor lately. It just sucks. Big bass through the ice just don't like me. That was in four feet of water. That's the key. Maybe I need to be up higher. Where did you come from? I didn't even hook him. I'm hooked. He's hooked outside the mouth. He's hooked right in the base of his gill plate. I don't even know where he came from. I got something. Oh, another big bluegill. Another good sized bluegill. Man, these are really some chunky bluegill. That's nice. I like it. There we go. Another big bluegill. It's interesting. That bass came through. All the bluegills scared away. And now they're back, so makes me wonder, are there no bass here? I got no bait though. Holy cow, you guys really can't tell maybe, but the wind is just howling. I might go take that tip up and drop it over here. I think we've given this hole enough time. Let's switch over, let's head back to that first hole actually. We're gonna bring the tip up over there. He's still alive and kicking. We're gonna bring you over here, bud. There's something. Six feet down. There's a mark. Big mark. Oh my gosh, come back. It's big, it's big, it's big. Oh my god, it's big. It's big. Okay. Okay. Keep pressure on it. Keep pressure on it. I want this fish. Come on. Oh. Oh gosh. I haven't seen it yet. I can't see it under the ice. Oh, come on, bud. 
be a really light line on. Oh, I just saw it. It swam right by the hole. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is a huge bass. Okay, come on, come on. Yes! Ho! Oh. Holy shnikes! <laughs> oh my god, this is a tank! Look at that teeny little jig there. This is my PB bass through the ice. That is right. This is a solid four. I gotta go get the other camera. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh shoot. Guys, I just caught this PB bass and I got a tip up fish on right now too. We're gonna let this guy go really quick. Four pounder, four pounder. Oh yeah, it's spinning. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that gorgeous fish, guys. Oh, down through the ice it goes. All right, oh my gosh, tip up spinning like crazy here. This is, this is what's spinning. Oh, it's way out to the side. I don't feel much on it. Oh, this thing was going. All right, guys, well, tip up was going. Definitely my personal best fish of the ice. Getting a cramp, oh, leg cramp, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Okay, got wet knees. Tip up was going though. It was going good too. I just didn't get to it fast enough. It's cause I was dealing with a four pounder. Okay, we need to warm up our hands for a minute though. Our hands are not in good shape. And that fish was, again, in like three or four feet of water. I actually reeled up all the way up to about five feet and got him to the nose down on it. That's the second time that's happened with a big bass today. Finally, I got one. Oh, you have no idea how good that feels. That made today 1,000% worth it. I am very, very, very happy right now. I'm so intrigued by the fact that these, these big bass are shallow. They're hanging out, you know, less than five feet and they're just cruising. And that's what he was doing. And I just happened to be underneath him at the time so i reeled up immediately he, he nose down on it and the rest is history personal best bass through the ice oh gosh that feels good to say so glad you guys are here to join me of course the tip goes off while i'm holding the camera in one hand and a four pound bass in the other and figures by the time i get back to letting that fish go get back to the hole line's not going out anymore and there's no pressure on it oh there's something what is this That lady was talking she's like well there's a guy out on the ice it's probably not safe but he hasn't fallen through yet so you never know got him got him definitely a bluegill <laughs> so i saw him the whole way up he's not terrible it's not giant but he's not bad there we go Jeez, louise my like, teeth are chattering it's so dang cold there we go. Littler bluegill. See, this is more like the normal size I'm catching, but I can say that that's actually been in the minority today. I really haven't caught many like that today, which is a rarity. Well, we ready to call it quits here. We might just go on to the next spot. The one more little pond I want to try, somewhere I've never ice fished before. I don't even know, honestly, if ice, oh my gosh. What is that? Huge mark. Always coming up to it. I got it. I got it. Oh, it's a big bass. It's a big bass. Okay. It's a good bass. Didn't look as big as the one from earlier, but I saw it. I had a good glimpse of it. Oh, I see it. <laughs> That's so cool. I see it like 10 feet in front of me. Oh, 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 oh God, okay, here it is. So cool to see him underneath you. Well, there he is. I can't tell how good he's hooked. It looked like he was cooked in the corner of the mouth. Come on, bud. 
Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh yes, that's another one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's a solid three. All right guys, pardon my uh, dripping nose. That's not too bad. We just got this solid three pounder on the little pimple, very top of the mouth. He just came out of nowhere. That's a second big old bass I caught here. I was literally just thinking about leaving. Oh, feels so good to be catching some big bass through the ice. Pumped. Okay, let's unhook him while he was hooked good. That was, that was hooked really well. All right guys, let's let him go. Oh, and he just slithers on down there. That's so cool. So cool to see him through the ice fighting him. Oh, it's been a tough, cold day, but that feels so good. We got two solid bass through the ice. Let's see if we can catch a few more before we head out of here. My knees are freezing because I'm kneeling on the ice in my jeans. Okay, we need another minute, just like before. We gotta warm up our hands here. We're not using any gloves today, even though I have gloves with me. I don't have them on because I'm an idiot. Ooh, here's a little mark. There we go, I got something. Bluegill. There we go. Ooh, there is a big mark at the bottom. I got him. What is this? It's a little bass. There we go. It's going crazy here. Let's let this little guy go. Whoa. Pop back out, went back in. That's the first bass from the bottom. Everything else has been kind of in the middle of the water column. Middle or up higher. Let's go back to this hole over here. That's where we caught the giant one over earlier. Let's see if we can't get one before we decide to call quits. I actually see something on the bottom right now. Oh yeah it is, I see him. It's a good one. Oh jeez. Oh there we go. <laughs> Whew. That was a little sketchy there. That's a nice little nice one. That's that's my fourth bass of the day. And he's on gosh, he's gotta be close to two. Again, hooked right in the top of the mouth right there. Boom, and these red, red crushers. And oh my gosh, he's just skin hooked. Do you see this? I mean, he's literally just hooked in a teeny bit of skin. Surprisingly, that little bit of skin is durable. That's a really, really good fish. I'm not even gonna take a picture. Not even gonna big to get, get the big camera. Oh, this has turned out to be a really, really good day out on the ice. It's cold and it's not exactly fast paced but we are catching fish and that's all we could ask for. And there, there he goes. Little bluegill. That is not the good mark I saw but that's how we're going to end this trip over to this lake. Follow me along, let's head over to lake number two. So, we're here at a pond that I fished a few times this summer. Had moderate luck. I know it's got some bass, but I've definitely never ice fished this. Ice is definitely safe. Or maybe not. Not what I was expecting. All right, we're not gonna be able to fish here. <clears throat> nope, that is definitely not safe. Hmm. Well, unfortunately guys, I left the pond, the head fish, to go find fish. And I'm paying the price of, for it right now, so. 
we're probably gonna get home. 